This is how you can make BI work with big data using AdScale and Google BigQuery. As data consumers, we need a scale-out data processing platform that provides fast query response, support for complex multidimensional analysis, and also an interface for any BI client. Being a fully managed terabyte scale data engine, it easily handles millions of records using traditional SQL. It provides fast response time to BI users. However, there is always concern associated with the cost. Being a pay-per-use model, the cost of processing data can increase dramatically. Using that scale, not only the user experience is the same or better when querying raw data, but the cost is vastly reduced. The combination of BigQuery as a fully managed processing engine, along with AdScale, which provides the best-in-class virtual cube modeling experience, is the best solution to satisfy your enterprise data requirements. In this demo, I will be accessing raw data stored in Google BigQuery. Then, I will create a virtual model using AdScale. And next, I will visualize this data using Tableau and Microsoft Excel. The first thing that I'm going to do is log in into the AdScale user interface. I am going to create a new project, which will serve as a repository for the cube that we will be designing in this demo. At this point, AdScale will present us with an empty canvas where we can drag and drop our fact table and dimensions. The first thing that I will do is go to my environment and drag my fact table into the design canvas. Then, I will go ahead and create the dimensions that I want to use to slice the data later in my report. I will continue dragging and dropping into the canvas the elements that I want to work with, and at this point, I will create the relationships between them. Once I make sure the model looks the way I want it, I can go ahead and publish it. When you publish a project, several things happen which is important to note. AdScale is going to provide us with a JDBC, an MDX, and also an ODBC connection strings, as well as a click and Excel instructions to connect to the model. More on that later. For now, we will go ahead and download the TDS file that AdScale created for us. Once it is downloaded, all I have to do is double-click on it and the file will automatically prompt us to Tableau. And at this point, I can start visualizing my data using the elements that I made available in my virtual cube. Now let's take a step back. At the beginning of this demo, I told you we were going to analyze this data using Microsoft Excel as well. To do this, we are going to make Excel believe that we are connecting to an analysis services cube. I am going to copy the MDX connection string from AdScale and I'm going to use it as a server name in Microsoft Excel. I will finish the setup using the same credentials that I used to log in into AdScale, and then I can finish the process by building my pivot table and my visualizations in Excel, using the data that I have available in my Google BigQuery environment. Additionally, we can take a look at what is under the hood and see the aggregate definitions that were created by the AdScale engine. At this point, I am going to look up the aggregate definition that AdScale generated to accelerate my visualization. As we can observe here, this aggregate was created within my AdScale instance, and if we explore this table, we will notice that it contains all the necessary information for my BI tool to deliver the report and visualizations that I will continue requesting. To summarize this demo, we access data that we had stored in Google BigQuery. Then, using AdScale, we created a virtual cube and next, we visualize that data using Tableau and Microsoft Excel. Also, in this exercise, we have created an aggregation that has been immediately stored in Google BigQuery. And now, all the queries generated by our BI tools are using these aggregates to satisfy the visualizations that we are requesting. And this is how you make BI work with big data using AdScale and Google BigQuery.